All right, uh, looks like we are up against a uh, ancient deck with Coridon and Roaring Moon, the single prize targeters. Quite an interesting deck, quite a scary deck when it gets to like pretty late game. See how fast they can start milling things off and seeing how fast they can start this running. I have a feeling um, I may be able to get it done faster than them. They have Stomp off which discards the top deck, you know, so I guess. What do they have? What is this? 120? 90 damage to itself. Okay, so it does 150 because right? burning damage is 30 if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, but we pull some pretty good cards straight off the straight off the top. I wonder if I'm gonna have a dunce pass. I don't think get a dunce pass if I get a roaring moon. I think I might get a dunce pass to draw. Probably drop a roaring moon here. Then I can with nest ball. I'll just find a roaring moon. Uh, go grab some energies. Like, like so. Maybe, hopefully, find a dark patch or something. Nice, perfect. Call cool for it, and it comes. Drop one dark patch. Drop a sada. Uh, oh, sada. Drop an energy. Drop that, and I do eighty. Oh, that would kill me. Actually, that's bad. That would kill me. Well. 80, <laughs> 80 damage is 80 damage. If I had the ancient energy booster capsule, I'd be fine, but it's fine. All right, uh, did what I could with what I was given. That's you know pretty much it. Because if I had a Sada, then I could have uh, accelerated onto my Roaring Moon, which is uh, EX. There's a gift energy. Oh, so he's not going to get the, the burning turbulence. Yep, that's what it's called. See, I can read. I can read Burning Turbulence. Um, we'll see, because I can Ultra Ball and try to find a dunce, a dun, the Dunce boss and then run away. Ooh, they play a Great Mill, which is gone. I think they only play one off Great Mill, so that's a pretty good card. It, uh, it's gone. Probably find themselves a Roaring Moon, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. Uh, Greninja. I'm just seeing what they, they're doing because I'm I've uh, I'm not quite sure how quickly this deck can start going because I know I'll have Runaway draw next and then I can you know I can get going. Start he uh, he can't attack unless he's a Sada. He's a Sada then he can do this whole um his whole play. This is what I'm kind of expecting now actually. He'll be Stomp off. Oh that's a that's a really good top deck from them. <laughs> Are they give me a thumbs up. There's no need for the thumbs up. Let's be honest. There was absolutely zero need for a thumbs up. They, they, don't, they don't need to do that to me. I think from here, I'm going to discard, draw. Uh, Earthen Vessel is pretty good. I'm just going to thin out my deck a little bit more. I have two left. They didn't need to thumbs up me like that, okay? That was absolutely no need. Thin out my deck a little bit more. Find a another Dedunce boss. Boom. Uh, draw three. The boss's orders and a penny. Give me. I should. Pro and then I'm gonna artisan to find a dunce boss. Then I'm gonna run away. Draw. Nice. We found ourselves a sada. And now from here we can start setting up our next roaring moon. Uh, how many have I got in here? I got three in here, which is perfect. I will drop one on you, one on you. Drop another couple. Trekking shoes. Super rod. I don't think I'll, I need it right now. Explorer's guidance. Uh, hey, yes, I'll take the ancient energy booster capsule. Drop that on you. Uh, I'll drop. Hmm. I'll hold on to this one just in case I want to. Uh, just in case I want to. Um, just in case to see if he tries to bring in a Greninja, if he tries to bring in one of my Roaring Moons. See uh, see what he wants to do. Take one prize card. The gift energy gave him... Ooh, we got another energy. Maybe we could have dropped that one down, but that's okay. I have another Sada to accelerate and I got one. If I don't get hand disrupted, I should be fine. But since it's a gift energy, the chance of him hand uh, ionoing me or hand disrupting me is... Well, actually, it's not low, but, you know, it's still there. How much did I hit him for last time? Uh, I hit him for... 
Oh, I didn't, didn't see him. 110. Okay, 110. So now he's got 200 HP. It's going to be a little bit a little bit harder, but this hits me for 150. So that's fine. I've got one energy in there. With Greninja, I'll have two in there, and then I can Sada. So there's the Sada. The Primordial Beatdown! You know? Uh, a little bit scary. It's a tad bit scary. So he's got his two Ancient Energy Booster Capsules online. There's the one energy. My Roaring Moon should live this, as far as I'm aware. Shouldn't do 100, should 150 if I remember correctly when I used to play this deck. Should be 150 if I remember. Wait, plus. Oh, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 120, 120. Wait, 120 plus 30 is 150. Yeah, so 150, should do 150, so I should be in a, in a, I should be, I should still be fine, I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry, it's okay, oof, all good, all good, all good. Plus, I can use Penny and pick up. There's the 150, as I suspected. I can Penny pick up, worst case scenario. Let me find myself a Dark Patch. Alert and Vessel away, one Explorer's Guidance. At the last two. Um... Concealed card, see if I can find... Oh, Dark Patch. Nice, now that I have a Dark Patch, I can attach. I can then Penny. Uh, drag my Roaring Moon out. Perfect. I can then Artisan. Drop a Dunsparce. I can also Ancient Energy Booster Capsule. Drop this down. Hit him with a Calamity Storm for 220. Discard Stadium. Boom. And <laughs> I love Penny, man. I love Penny. Okay, wait. I like the card Penny. Or I like the card Penny. Like, it's it's very, very helpful in those situations. Now, he, he doesn't have a way to kill any of my Pokemons, realistically. Uh, plus, I have Sada in hand. Uh, yeah, also, this deck shouldn't play any Iona, if I remember correctly. So, I should be fine. I have an Artisan to get the next KO. Uh, and as long as I have a couple of my moons set up, I should be in a fantastic spot. Uh, I shouldn't lose on deck out either. I've got four energies in hand, so, uh, you know, should be fine. Should be fine for a long time, actually. Should be fine for a long time. I can Sada, drop one down, draw three, and then I should be in a comfortable spot. That was a pun. If it came out comfy, you know, comfy, comfortable. I don't know if it worked out, but, you know, it's uh, it's dead. <laughs> this list is fun. I, I'll be honest. I think this came seventh in EUIC. I'll be looking at a couple of lists, you know, I've quite enjoyed this Roaring Moon deck list. I always enjoyed Roaring Moon. You know, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you can you can tell I'm a I'm a I would, I'm a big fan of the Roaring Moon. Big fan of the Roaring Moon. So this uh, seeing it coming back is it makes me happy. And I think this list is really good. It kind of it kind of builds up on what Roaring Moon was lost. Uh, pre rotation where it kind of just like sets up really really quickly. You have easy, but you set up. You, you set up super quick, right? Like even this deck, again the dunce bosses and, and the dunce bosses. You know, if you find them. Oh, he counter catches me. Probably kills. Oh, he kills my Greninja. That's okay. I'm okay with Greninja dying here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm actually fine with Greninja dying here. I have everything in hand. Uh, I don't see a way to kind of lose this. They play the Pokestop, so I don't need to really Artisan either. They find a Nest Ball and a Pokegear, which is fine, fair enough. Don't know what they're gonna do with a Nest Ball. They don't think. I don't think they play a Roaring Moon. Here's the Brute Bonnet. Is he gonna try poison me? Oh, poison is an interesting tactic, but because I have. The Ancient Energy Booster Capsule. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then I get the knockout on his Coridon. I am... Again, two prize card... Up. Oh, well, there's my other Ancient Energy Booster Capsule. I just dropped this here. I will then Sada. Oh, I only got... I started for one. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, oops. My bad. I have another Ancient Energy Booster Capsule. I won't do anything else. I don't need to really do anything else. I'll just drop this on... You, uh, I don't really want to drop this down just in case uh, they boss it in or something, try ruin me. I'll drop this down just in case. I don't want to, I don't want to poke stop. I don't want to whiff anything. There's no point in me whiffing, trying to risk. There's no point in me trying to risk a whiff is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, uh, everything is fine for now. Nothing. I don't have an issue with anything. I have a nest ball. Try find another the dunce boss if I find the dunce boss. I mean, I try to try find the dunce boss if I get the dunce boss. Yes, I can try find another roaring moon. That would be kind of cool. I mean, there are seven cards left. I'm pretty sure I might win on deck out <laughs> at this rate. Oh uh, yeah, so 
things are going really well there's another ancient energy that's all for the ancient energy booster capsules right i have an artisan to get to ko kick to get a ko on this i could wait how many what's in my grave only a greninja so i could try find another nest ball and maybe try set that up but i think i've used how many solders have i used two solders two solders i should probably have two more how many dark patches have i used well two dark patches also use two dark patches means theoretically the i'll check how much what i have in my deck with artisan and then i'll see if i want to nest ball with is what I'm trying to say. And yeah. There's a Fletch. 210. Ooh, big numbers. He, that means he can KO my Roaring Moon. Big numbers, big numbers. What oh, is it? Dead and Sparse. So I'll drop down the Artisan. I'll see what I can find. Oh, I haven't got one. Alright, what have I got? I got it. There's. Oh, I have got Roaring Moon. So I got one Roaring Moon, one Dead and Sparse, one Sada. And two more, so I should be perfectly fine, right? I would drop. I don't want to drop this down. I will leave this as it is. I would then nest ball, find myself a roaring moon. Oh, uh, drop this down. Drop this down, and then oh, uh, the dunce pass, run away, draw. I'm fine with that. Uh. I'll drop an ancient energy booster capsule on this guy. Hit him for calamity storm. Discard. 220. That's another one down. Two more prize cards. And there's my other Sada, so I don't really see a way where I can lose this, if I'm being honest. Uh, very hard. I have another artisan right here. They don't play I as far as I'm aware, they don't play Iono, so there's no hand disruption, which is the only good thing about uh they have got two, they also got two cards left, so uh, you know. Getting big hits of Roaring Moon is really hard. I mean they can as you can see they can hit for 210, which is you know, it still doesn't I'm better down to two cards, so setting setting all that up to only still hit for hard 210 is a bit, a bit tricky. Because you're not really gonna get KO on most EXs, right? You're not really gonna get KO on Charizard, and they get a KO on Shampao, and they get a KO on, on Iron Hands, so it's kind of hard to make this deck, to make the single price deck work, right? You'd have to go for 12, you have to, you'd have to go 2 for 1, right, realistically, so you can go for 2 for 1s, if you can get set up, the chances of doing it are, 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 are seems like quite slim, which is why including the 2 Roaring Moons is really good, because, you know, Roaring Moons can, the 220s don't kill the Iron Hands, but they do kill, you know, uh, Char but with frenzied gouging, of course, right? Frenzy well, the two twenties kill most v Vs, right? Delgas, Giratinas, Shampao. So it's nice to have the frenzied uh, calamity storm as an option. Uh, and then you know, or you can go like Roaring Moon, f uh, the you know first attack Vengeance. You can go Vengeance into the first Charizard, and then you can calamity storm afterwards, and that'll get you a good prize. You know, you'll be prized ahead that way. You know, it's just about how you how you want to play. You have a little way to pivot it, and yeah. And that's really it. So he plays the awake. Oh, unlucky no good to use. Used. You remember when he thumbs up me? Do you think I should, if, when I win, do you think I should thumbs up him? Plus, Roaring, this, I feel like this deck loses quite heavily to Future, right? Which is really, which is quite popular right now. Iron Hands kind of just like, ampu, the Ampu very much on the 140. Just needs one Iron Crown or one uh, of the Future capsules. And then you're taking two prize cards off of that. So it's not super good. It's not super good at all. In my opinion, this, this this deck, as sad as it is to see. I say that, but then I could just lose this. <laughs> I say that. Uh, Drop this and drop this. Get the three. I don't drop the artisan. Get the free retreat. Uh, oh, I didn't drop the artisan. Drop the artisan. Drop a dark patch. And then just Calamity Storm. Take the Stadium. That's one. And then the next turn, I just win, right? Next turn, I just next turn, I just win. I don't see a way for them to take three prize cards in one turn. Uh, realistically, I don't see a way for them to do that. And yeah, that sh this should be game, realistically. But this deck is a lot easier to use than the Lost Zone deck, I'll be honest. Is he gonna try kill my... Try kill this Warring Moon? I mean, either way, I don't think make, I don't think it makes much of a difference. They both 
stacked, right? Uh, I mean, sure, he can if he really wants to. I thought he was going to bring in this room and try to get one prize card, but then even then, I just bring in a room and I, and I kill. I don't think there's a way he, he wins. There it is. Oh, 320 is kind of crazy. I did not expect the 320. Holy moly. Maybe I take back a lot of things I just said. I take back a lot of things I said. I I take back. Well, he concedes, but yeah. Maybe I got ahead really quickly and he couldn't make a comeback. 320, but half your using half your deck to get 320 is kind of crazy. But yeah, GG's. All right, looks like we're up against a Tinkerton deck. This is actually quite bad for me because I am i don't run any hand disruptions or any way to stop abilities. So that might be bad. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Uh, oh, that's actually, that's actually a pretty cool card. The three decks and then look for them. Okay, okay, okay. So we play the Greninja. Go Earth and Vessel away. I want to keep all of these if I'm being honest. Um, but Earth and Vessel away and Earth and Vessel. No, I can stack energies. I think the capsule I might have to get rid of. Capsule maybe. Then up my deck a little bit more, get rid of that, draw two more. Perfect. Then I wanna draw with Greninja. Oh, trekking shoes gets me an ultra ball. I'll take the ultra ball. Uh let's see what this gets me. A sod oh, a two sodders. Wow. Wow, wow. That's a hand to mill. Losing a dark patch here feels sad. Feels very sad. Wow, losing a lot of things here feels quite sad, if I'm being honest. I can get the K on Jirachi, but then let's see. All right, let's get the K on Jirachi and see how this goes. I'll do these two and then find this guy. Drop this down, play the Dark Patch. Play this. Wow, this actually feels... Yeah, getting the K on Raging Jirachi is kind of crazy. Trust the witch wishes he gets to draw three cards. That's crazy. Because it would just be. Would it not just be Ray Candy and Tinkerton? And then Tinkerton kind of kind of swings for a million and then I kind of kind of die off of that. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. I take one prize card. Let's see what we get. Okay, well, I mean. Yeah, I I feel like he kind of has game. This feels kind of. Yeah, see, there's the Ray Candy into the Tinkerton. Oh no, it's how many cards you have in hand, right? If I remember correctly, it's how many cards you have in hand. You think it's on EX? We can just read now. We can, we're good at reading. Yeah, how many cards you have in hand? So three plus this can, this is going to go. Wow. Okay, so Roaring Moon dies here and I need to find a way to set up my moon. And I don't have much time for it. Three evolution poke. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, so yeah, he's kind of stacked. <laughs> yeah, I don't. The fact having no hand disruption feels feels awful. If I'm being completely honest. Um. Yeah, this is where the the deck kind of like is slow. Maybe I shouldn't have killed Radiant Jirachi. I think killing Radiant Jirachi. Uh. Yeah, I think killing Radiant Jirachi was a, maybe a mistake because now he's kind of going for it. I should have tried, maybe maybe should have waited and seen how things go. But I think Radiant killing killing the Radiant Jirachi, he is now because three times six is 180, and that's more than enough to kill my Roaring Moon. Boom! If I had the Agent Energy Capsule, he would have lived. Poor guy, he didn't. He he, you know, he didn't get to do much. This is weak to steal. Okay, I bring in my Dunce Boss, and then we'll see what we can do from here. We get a penny off of this. Don't really need a penny. So unfortunately, well, I say unfortunately, we're gonna have to run away draw. We get a roaring moon. We get to drop this. We kind of just have to start off for one. We draw, there's the artisan. Artisan will thin out a deck. Whoa, have I prized two of them? Okay, well, I've prized two of them. Concealed card gets us 
that. We'll get one Roaring Moon down. We will then Dark Patch set up our roar, set up this Roaring Moon. Get this down. Put this on this. Oh wait. Oh, we sacrificed Greninja. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, we sacrificed Greninja here. There's the runaway draw. Yeah, see, this feels uh kind of lost, I'll be honest. After we had, we, had a, we had a great first game, and now this now this game feels a little oh my moon dies here. Yeah, okay, this feels lost, I'll be honest. This feels lost. He kinda he kinda the killing the radiant draw was probably a mistake. Uh well, it depends, because if if he already had everything in hand, then was it really a mistake? But he we might have not, you know. So I think I made a mistake by killing Radiant Jirachi and I gave him everything he needed. And um, I don't think there's a way to come back from here. It was, um, it's 11 times 3, it's 330. Well, he has 12 now. 12 times 3 is 360. He does 360. Oh, it's 11. Okay, 330. And my moon dies here. It was nice knowing you, Mr. Moon. 330 is insane. 300 HP is crazy, though. Alright, there's no hand disruption, so... I keep saying that because it's insane how there's no hand disruption in this deck. I feel like I should probably run hand disruption. Will we a runaway draw? Alright, well, I don't think I have any more dunce passes, so we'll run away draw. We draw into the moon. I will then play the moon. I will then uh, artisan for another dunce pass. Uh, maybe it's not lost yet. Maybe I can set up this moon, right? Uh, I will then throw away this penny unfortunately as much as i like penny it's gonna have to go i would then try sada one onto you one onto you draw i get a dark patch dark patch is good drop this moon down drop this down maybe retreat bring this get the frenzied gouging and uh, hope they can't kill this moon you know maybe maybe they don't have another one maybe maybe fingers crossed they have another one well i mean they have 12 cards in hand you know the chance of them having another one it isn't isn't exactly the, <laughs> the hardest thing all right, now it's whether I can set up this moon, right? I can start a drop. How many dark patches have I used? All four of them. I can't set up this moon. All right, I think it's just GG here. It's basically GG here. It's basically GG here. I can't set up this moon. They have another Tinkerton. They probably have another Rare Candy and a Tinkerton EX. I think a Tink, actually, I should say. Yeah, so with no hand disruption, it's a, it's a little bit difficult. With four dark patches down, uh, it was unfortunate game, but we 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 tried. I didn't think I could have. Yeah, killing Jirachi was my mistake. Was was my bad. Was severely my bad. I shouldn't have killed Jirachi. Um, until I maybe had an established board to like you know, to do something. Uh, all right, but it's not over yet, right? We can all agree it's not over yet. All right, you and me. We are in a terrible situation. We have no way to counter to counteract from this. But it's not over yet. Uh, we have counter catcher. Could be something. Oh, Sada, regardless. Do this, do this, you know. Boom, boom. Boom, shakalaka. Maybe a nest boom might be our savior. Maybe, maybe we super out a couple energies back in. See how things go. Maybe we trick and shoes before we find ourselves a dunce boss. Maybe we find ourselves nothing. We have one more Sada. We have a prime catcher. It's like, here's the thing. What can I realistically bring in that is going to help me? Right? There's nothing I can realistically uh, counter catcher in. I can counter catcher in dunce bars, but it's obviously going to just run away. Can't do that, do that, do that. Free because they have no retreat, so it's easy. I, can, I can't set up this moon. That just kills my moon. And then... Um, yeah, so I think this is just game. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we're going to have to bear the bad news. Oh, I found another one. Uh, You know, maybe if we keep searching, we might find an answer. I don't think I have any more. I kind of want to keep that one. I kind of have to get the artisan, right? 
Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? I think I have an idea on how we come in this. We just need an 18 engine booster capsule. That's not an 18 engine booster capsule. We need an 18 energy booster capsule. How many have I thrown away? Two. I should maybe have two more. We need an 18 energy booster capsule. There it is. But then even then it was 360, so I, I I don't think. Oh wait, that's not even set up. Oh man. Okay, this is over. It's over. I don't know. But there is no way to win this. I lied. I'm sorry, guys. I let you guys down. I'm sorry. I need 18 more. How can I get 18 more? I can't get 80 more. I can ultra ball away this and that. And then that will give me 60 more. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, you know. Maybe I do 220. I could kill that. And then that comes in. You know, let's do that. Let's kill the draw engine. Yeah. <laughs> 220. And then the Tinkerton Kim comes in anyway and kills me. Yeah. I mean, you know, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. What's his orders? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't think there was a way to win, right? Unless I could have bossed orders and hoped in he didn't have one energy in hand. Uh, and there's the 370. I could have hoped he never had a boss in hand. This is the only problem with playing no uh, hand structure. Hand disruption. I should probably try maybe fit one or two ions on this, on this deck or Roxanne even. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm also falling out of my chair. <laughs>